to self-publish or not? That's the question I am asking today. Welcome to Heroi Reads with Lona. My name is Lona and I'll just dive into today's topic. So a lot of writers always have this question. Should they self-publish or should they go the traditional publishing route? Personally, I prefer the traditional publishing route. But uh, along the way, I've had to change my mind because of a couple of reasons which I'm not going to discuss here. Because if I were to discuss them here, it's going to take like maybe 30 minutes long video. But um, I would like to talk about uh, self-publishing. So self-publishing is possible. My mind has opened up to self-publishing, so I'm not very harsh towards self-publishing like I was previously. But there have been a lot of concerns um, regarding self-published books. There was a time in 2018 and part of 2019 where I co-ran a literary journal with a friend of mine who was also a writer like me. And we used to encounter a lot of self-published books which we had to read so that we could write uh, reviews. And uh, one thing I came to realize about self-published books, there were a lot of grammatical errors. Actually, editing was poor. I wonder whether the writers had even bothered to have their drafts edited. And so later on, I've come to realize that the complaints regarding self-published books are pretty much the same. So you find that reviewers, book reviewers talk about uh, poor, poor covers and uh, the poor editing in these books. But I would like to say today that um, this is not to discredit self-published authors out there. It is possible to self-publish and it is possible to achieve the same quality that you would get in traditional publishing. But there are a few things that you need to, to factor in when you decide to go the self-publishing route. So first of all, um, what makes uh, writers decide to go the self-publishing route? One thing that is, I think a lot of writers are going to agree with me is the fact that the length of time it takes when you submit your draft to a traditional publisher, it normally takes a really long time before they can get back to you. Some of them will take six weeks, others will take three months, others maybe more. So a lot of writers, when they are done with their drafts, there's that excitement. I know this excitement. And you just want to put your work out there. So when you send it to a publisher and you have to wait for like six weeks or three months, and then when the response comes, it's not positive. So it's a bit um, soul crushing when this happens. But... Um, there's an option to self-publish and there's some things that you need to, to factor in. If you want to achieve that quality in self-publishing, which I believe is possible, first of all, you have to sit down and, uh, and, and uh, just make a list of what you need. And I am very, I'm very um, pro better readers. So better readers are those people who will be the first to read your draft. So it doesn't necessarily have to be somebody who is um like working in the literary scene it could even be a sister or it could be a fellow writer friend or maybe just somebody you trust with your work so once you're done with your draft i would like to urge writers actually you need to be open to having better readers that second eye so that they can be able to point out some things that feel a bit off then after you're done with the better reader now you can think of editing your work really it's important to edit your work and one thing i've always emphasize is that you can never publish your first draft. First drafts are not usually it. So if you're going the self-publishing route, you need to get an editor and you really need to shop for a good editor. I would prefer that you go online, you look for editors. There are also published writers who work as, who work as editors. You can decide to choose. And then you have to factor in the cost. Before you even start thinking of an editor, before you start thinking of a cover illustrator, because you need a cover illustrator, you have to factor in the cost and see how much you you need to, to have in your budget to be able to self-publish your book. So, of course, you've uh, looked for an editor. You have to look for a cover editor. You have to identify a printer that is going to print your work. And all these things cost money. And to me, the reason why I would prefer traditional publishing 
this is just my opinion i find traditional publishing to be cheaper in terms of costs costs because your publisher is the one that foots the costs but then when it comes to traditional publishing you have to share what you get from your book with your publisher so most times you're getting the royalties and uh the royalties, to be honest, they are not usually a lot as such. They cannot make you rich, just to be, to be very frank. And uh, not unless your book is a bestseller, bestseller in the sense that, uh, like Harry Potter, the Harry Potter series of books, yes, um, Twilight. I think it was Twilight that eventually was picked up as a series. So for me, I, um, I think uh, if it's possible for you to self-publish, Yes, you can self-publish, but then you have to factor in the cost. Then you have to make sure that you you have to actually not make sure, you have to be aware of the kind of quality that your book needs to achieve in order to compete with the other books which are traditionally published and they have beautiful covers and nice editing and all that. And you also have to think about marketing. So you have to know how are you going to market your book, uh, are you going to do book readings? Are you going to like uh, use social media, such things? So these are things you have to first make a list even before you think of uh, doing anything regarding self-publishing a book. And of course, the costs are yours. Um, the, the sales from the books, you are not sharing with any publisher, so they are yours. That's the beauty of self-publishing. But of course, if you're going to stock your books in bookstores, there's that percentage that will go to the bookstore. And then uh, if you're going the tra traditional, if you would like to go the traditional publishing way, maybe you can consider the independent publishers and uh, just try to, to send your manuscript to the independent publishers as opposed to the bigger publishers which are part of a bigger entity. And uh, I think it's, it's, it's possible to actually... Uh, publish your book with independent publishers or you could even be lucky and your book is picked up by a big publisher so i think it's possible and for me i feel like if you want to go the traditional publishing route you can first get your name out there through maybe submitting to literary journals uh, regularly or maybe literary prizes competitions and uh, once people get used to hearing your name, they get used to reading your stuff, I think it is more easier for a publisher to like identify who you are. And I think it, it also improves your writing. Another thing I believe that uh, all writers need to do, you have to read. You have to read relevant literature. You have to read literature that is really good to just keep improving on your craft. So for me to self-publish or not, if you want to self-publish, if you can handle the budget, then go ahead and do it. If you want to go the traditional publishing route, then go ahead and do it.